It started flooding after Australia Day. That was on, the, I think it was the Tuesday. And the river come over every day for about six days. Where we're sitting here, once a day, the water would have come over here about half a metre. Everything went underwater, everything. Out the flat out there, we've got probably about 100 hectares of soybean in. In that 100 hectares, we probably would have lost about probably 15 hectares. We've gone through and done some preliminary costings on the repairs, and I'm up to probably just repairs alone for the road, the pumps, and um, some of the stuff that we've done, we're up to about 85 grand. Roads were cut probably, we had emergency outage after about three weeks through the Paluma range. Some of those roads are on fence lines where they've taken out fences as well, you know, they're just eroded and, and um, fences are swinging in the breeze. Dams and, and roads and that, it'll take some time. We might have to start again with new roads, you know, it would probably be more the case. There's big gullies washed down the middle of them. Mm, but there's, there's a lot of other people a lot worse off than us out west. We went through the western region and have seen thousands of dead beasts um, by the side of roads that you know, people out there have had massive destructive damage as a result of the flood event. It might be three to five years um, by the time they've built their herd back up again and they're fully operational and got their cash flows back to what they're experiencing pre the event. At the moment we've just made a point of making sure we contact every customer of ours that, that's impacted to, to know that we're there to help them. Um, most of our response has been thanks, we appreciate that and we probably will need help but right now we're just trying to assess the damage. Um, we can't get onto our properties for example, we're not sure what our losses are. Um, it's really just about making sure that they know who to call when the time comes, they've done their sums and need somebody to work through uh, the next steps with them. We're not really too sure what's going to happen down the track with regards to how things are all going to be like. We might struggle a little bit for a while but I'm hoping that if everybody, if everybody can pay their bills would be in advance. The banks have been very good in, 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 in stepping up and asking us what we needed. I can only talk for ourselves in that instance but some of those others, you know, they would have carried some big debts into that flood, let alone flood damage and recovery. The support mechanism that the bank provide is essential because if you think of it in a personal sense you've lost your income and potentially you've lost your home one of the first things you're worried about is you've, you know that you've got an existing debt there. The banks are, uh, are one of many ports I think to, to have a, a conversation just get a view. Um, customers make the best decisions when they're talking and asking widely and using information um, as best they can. The bank won't have all of those answers but we'll have some financial answers and we'll have some experiences that we can relay that we see in our other customers and as, a, as we network with industry and we'd certainly often be linking um, our own customers with people that we think can help them and whether that's around finance and commodities or whether it's just around ment mental health well-being um, they're all really important issues and um, we put ourselves out there as somebody who can play a critical role at least amongst others in helping customers through. You can't afford to lose these people you know they, they, the back, they, they are the backbone of our industry and they, um, they need support right now. Mm.